You may have seen some discussion in the news recently around the 2030 ban on the sale of new petrol and diesel vehicles. Now, this was announced by the government some time ago, and UK automotive manufacturers like Ford, Nissan, Stellantis, which makes Vauxhall, have all but putting in place production plans to make sure that by 2030, all of the sale of their new vehicles will be electric. Now, I know that electric vehicles are out of reach for many people at the moment because of the cost. But by 2027, it's projected that electric vehicles will cost less to manufacture than new petrol or diesel vehicles. That's why it's really important that we continue to ramp up this investment and these production plans to make sure that we bring down the cost of electric vehicles for consumers. But it's also really important for jobs and growth as well. Our automotive sector in this country is world leading and we have the chance to really get ahead of this industry that's clearly going to define the sector for decades to come. By weakening this target and by watering down any commitment, it risks the jobs and growth in this sector to the tune of potentially tens of billions of pounds and tens of thousands of jobs in every corner of the UK. That's why Labour remained committed to the ban and it's been really disappointing to see Tory ministers coming out and watering it down and arguing over it. But it's also why we're committed to investment in gigafactories so that we've got battery production in the UK that will help support the electric vehicle sector and we're committed to targets on charging infrastructure because of the woeful rollout of charging infrastructure right across the country. In fact, there's more public charging points in the borough of Westminster alone than there are in the 12 largest towns and cities in the north. So Labour has a plan to turbocharge our transition to electric vehicles, to support jobs and industry, to support consumers and to help our efforts to tackle climate change.